I've been sitting watching my neighbors on and off for hours. But I've seen nothing of any use for my evidence board. Tony Morgan suggested that the McKees were acting strangely around Charlotte May. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. Charlotte May is counting on me to find her, but so far I've drawn a blank. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Only time will tell. He's just like there with his camera. <laughs> Jesus. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. But by their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? Mr. Morgan is writing missing posters by hand. He's been there all evening. Oh. Theodore looks unhappy about I don't know what. He's pacing back and forth. It's because the dishes aren't done. That's why he's upset. Yeah, rear window. Blecko, we already talked about that. Try to pay attention, man. I still have no idea what the problem is. Perhaps this is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. They're looking at something. What's she looking for? And now, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle has seen something just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. What on earth is it? They have a rat problem. She's not a dead, dead rat. What are you thinking, Annabelle? What can you see? Okay. Yeah. She gonna pick it up? Oh, it's a knife! I think that's worth taking She's a picture of. Knife. You think it's a red herring? Oh, Jesus. She's going to... No. She wants Theo to use it. What the fuck? He doesn't know which one to use. Maybe she's like, you gotta tenderize the meat before you cut it. Whatever it is, take pause of yourself. 
Okay. Writing about steaks and who will, uh, will wash the dishes tonight. I mean, it could be. People will fight about all kinds of stuff. Thea, who are you talking to? It honestly practice swing. It honestly could be like. Dear oh. God. It could what be like an animal. Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. I didn't actually see anything. No proof. I have no evidence at all. 40 minutes later. Annabelle is back at the door. Okay, hurry. Go. Go! What in God's name? Shit! What are you doing? Well, if you would help me... I'm not touching that thing. That thing was your idea. My idea. You don't want to take a picture of this? What do you think I'm doing? Hurry up! <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely evening. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Please, if, if you don't mind, I have something... It's just also sad, isn't it? Please, I really do need to be going. Oh, I'm so sorry, of course. It's fine, Annabelle. If there's it's a plant. You won't hesitate to ask. Why wouldn't we be taking photos of that? Damn it, what should I do? Catherine asked me not to get involved. But this... Or maybe I should have been taking photos? I don't know. It's not over until it's over. Before it, it would like highlight in yellow when I needed I to take I a picture. Need to pay the McKee's personal call. Uh, okay. I've barely slept at all. I can't fully explain what I observed last night, and I can't shake the image of Charlotte May in the McKee's pantry, lying there, helpless. I could see them doing it if they didn't want a neighbor to see it. It's like a, if it's a cat or something, like a pet. Uh, we saw the neighbors talk about like a knife and a tenderizer, like a mallet. And then he, he closed the blind with it and then he was like practicing with the mallet, closed the blind. And then in the evening, he walked out with um, something wrapped up in a rug. The police are searching out in Liverpool. They haven't seen what I have. And it's too soon to involve them. What if I'm wrong? I miss you, old friends. The animations are a bit like they're like a lower frame per second than everything else, just a bit wonky. 
wonder if there's like an option for that. Doesn't look like it. There is ray tracing, but I didn't turn it on. When Charlotte May is found, I need to take another holiday. Catherine would love to see Pinwheel again, I'm sure. British intelligence saves the day. Seems like a lifetime ago. Look at me now. King's Regiment Officer Robert Conway. Conway's quick thinking under fire led to saving the lives of over 20 men. When a radio transmission was intercepted, Staff Sergeant Michael Williams said that Conway, 22, decoded the transmission in record time. A scouting party was about to be sent directly into enemy territory when moments before Robert Conway sprang to action. I managed to steal a Jerry radio and intercept their battle plans. The 20 men he saved later proved to be vital in the war effort. For more, turn to page five. One more. I thought the days of me developing reel after reel of film were behind me. I almost miss it. Bother mess. I think he just got older. why he retired probably they all retire someday developing film in the 20th century hey by Jeffries Hitchcock I guess yeah I don't know Uta barbitan, butazol sodium. Huh. What is that used for? Is that the same F? Different F. My old case files. Some I'd rather forget. Oh, there is a dark room there. Cool. These are developing nicely. See how quiet the dialogue is now? I don't understand how... You notice it more when you're recording, but like, I keep having to adjust the volume. Based on the uh, dialogue. Okay. Uh, well, there was an article of him in the military. He was 22. We're not sure after that, but we presume he's, he was a detective of some kind. Non-selective central nervous system depressant. Used as a sedative or hypnotic. So am I gonna have to like develop some photos? All set up and ready to go. Now, to gather some evidence from the McKees. Oh, I see. That's a wall. That's a wall. I'll need my bag if I'm going to gather any real evidence. It's possible he was a private investigator. I don't know. We haven't we haven't found that out yet.
No. There we go. To find out what the McKees were doing in that pantry. Hey, two dot nil. From my observations, the McKees clearly have something to hide. I need to find out what was in the pantry. Gain entry to the McKees flat. Explore the pantry to see what I can find. We're gonna break into their house. Annabelle McKee. Annabelle McKee is a housewife and married to Theodore. I believe her sister, Shirley Dons, is the landlady of the Crow's Nest pub. Annabelle seemed a little odd when we spoke and had strong opinions of her neighbor, Mrs. Dewar. I wouldn't go as far as to say cruel, but she's clearly a person of harsh views and seems over eager to share. I don't know her well enough to just to judge just yet, but she has got my attention. No DNA. This is way before that time. Annabelle was forcing Theo to use the mallet in the pantry. It's clear to me that she is in charge of the relationship. Theo notes. Theodore works at Levy and Son's Garage, the mechanic. On the odd occasion, I see him leave the gate carrying various musical instruments. When we spoke, he seemed to want his wife Annabelle to say a little less to me than she did. Perhaps he didn't want her to give something away. On the other hand, he did seem eager to join the search party. Experience has taught me anything at all. I should at least keep a sharp eye on him. Hmm. Theo spent a great deal of time debating whether or not to bludgeon whatever was in the, that pantry. Violence clearly doesn't come easily to him. Apparent that Theo was uncomfortable transporting the rug to the boot of the car. Suggests that Annabelle is in charge and that Theo will do anything for her. Inventory. Satchel empty. Interesting. Okay. Let's go break into our neighbor's house. Wait. It's not much to go on as of yet. I'll see to that. Let's go break into our neighbor's house. Or do I take pictures? I don't think so. I think we're I think we're fucking straight up breaking in. Oh, that's the right <laughs> Well, we're not doing a good job so far. <laughs> Got a little confused there. Um, by the way, Buttercup, you mentioned, uh... You mentioned, um... Telltale, they actually are still making games. Uh, the Wolf Among Us 2. They got bought by someone and then they brought a bunch of the people back. And they're working on The Wolf Among Us 2 right now. Yeah. And they, they also finished off The Walking Dead, right? The final, uh, final part of The Walking Dead. If the McKees really did kill Charlotte May last night, then there must be some evidence left in their pantry. I still haven't played, um, still haven't played it. Oh, oh I guess, so can I get in from this side? Whoa! A little wild. I wonder if there's anything left to find at all. What if I'm too late? The McKee's flat. Curious tune. Bleach. The McKee's have been busy. Mysterious drone. I didn't know they had drones back then. Hello. Hello, Mrs. McKee. We spoke a few days ago. Yes. Uh, please call me Annabelle. Annabelle, of course. Yeah. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to you. That's fine. I'm sorry, how is it I can help Mr. Conway? 
Well, it's all a bit sensitive, I'm afraid. I, I wondered if I might have a word in private, if you would. Uh, well, I... Mrs. McKee, Annabelle, I'd rather not state my purpose out here in the hallway where any one of your neighbours might be listening. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. Why, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment? Excellent idea. I promise not to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you have your hands full. So, what's the purpose of all this, Mr. Conway? I hope it's not about what we... Well, why don't you get to it? Of course. Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm sure you've heard that I was once a private investigator. Some kind of, uh... Well, nonetheless... Mr. Air Morgan has asked deodorizer? me if I would look into everyone who knew Charlotte May. I see. And so you've come to look at us. Look, uh, let me be straight. I've been an investigator my entire life, and I have a sense about people. You might Pretty say. sure it's a dead animal. Is that so? I don't think you or your husband have anything to hide. In fact, this might be a waste of time altogether, but I think it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease. If I ask some basic questions anyway, what do you say? Well, however we can help. As long as it's not too long is all. Oh, no, of course not. All I need you to do is tell me, in your own words, what you did on the night that Charlotte May was taken. Right. But I thought you... Before you begin, I'm, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind if I used your lavatory? No, not at all. It's right behind you. Thank you. And please, Annabelle, you look worried. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. Not allowed to smoke. So She's lying. It's written all over her. Time to find out why. What is this? Accessibility, no hold and drag. If enabled, hold and drag interactions now only require a tap. Hey, two dot. Thank you for the thirteen months. Over a year already. Thank you so much for the support, and how much fun we've had together. Thank you for that letter. Uh, can I get rid of this? This is A. McKee. Regarding our previous appointment, I regret to inform you that the pain in your lower abdomen was likely due to complications during the early stages of your first trimester. I would very much like to have a follow-up appointment with you as soon as possible to discuss the certainty your pregnancy will not come to full term. Oh no, all things considered. Please call the surgery at your nearest convenience to book another appointment. Kind as regards. Oof. Doctor's note addressed to Annabelle. Okay. What about the apple? Mr. Conway, can I offer you a cup of tea? Four sugars! Yes, uh, uh four sugars. I think I'm going to enable it. Because uh, dragging is not... Clicking and dragging was not easy. Oh, there's a ticket. 
one day peak time return Tuesday, 22nd, 22nd of June from Riverport to Touring City. A tram ticket. Okay, what that means, I'm not sure. Annabelle clearly didn't use this tram ticket. Gotta pretend, you know? Is that it? I miss anything? She's got pot! Two pot! Two pot spray. Air freshener. That's what she is using. Wait, there's a dead child in this. She likes chess too. Oh, we're putting things in the wrong spot. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, I think we're done. Well, I thought she'd uh, give us more time because she's got to spoon that sugar in there. You were going to tell me what you were doing on the night that Charlotte May was taken. I've been thinking about it, and there's not much to say. Literally anything would help. Well, I remember it clearly. I think everyone here knows exactly where they were. It was so shocking. Uh, I'd made Theo his tea in the afternoon at about three, and wrapped it up for him to have later. He was working all day over at Levy's garage, and performing later that night. I went to the shops at some point, I oh. think. I didn't see Charlotte May at all that day, and I was out of town for most of the night. I think the last time I saw her was... She's locking stuff Wednesday. up. She was playing outside between her homeschooling, as I recall. Oh, this is cool. So we, we key in on stuff that she says, and then we can ask her questions. Uh, I wonder if we can only ask one, though. I'll stop you there, if you don't mind. As interesting as it is to know what you were doing leading up to the event, I think it might be more beneficial to talk about what you and your husband were doing whilst Charlotte May was being taken. Right. I see. Yeah, how can we get to that what key? What time was that? You don't remember clearly. I was sitting in my flat at the time. Ten o'clock is when I first noticed something was happening. I had a good view from my window. I imagine you'd have a good view from your kitchen window also. Perhaps even your pantry. Actually, Mr. Conway, I'm sorry. I feel awfully uncomfortable talking about this without Theo here. I think it's best I don't answer anything he might object to. You're right. I completely agree. He usually takes his break around now, does he not? Perhaps. Would it be possible of you to go and get him so that we might continue the conversation? I don't think that's a good idea, Mr. Conway. In fact, I think I'd feel better if we ended the conversation here, if it's all the same to you. No, you're right. If you don't feel it appropriate, then best not to bother him. Thank you. Well, I was hoping to clear it all up today, you see. I'd hate to have to bother you tomorrow or the day after, or even the day after that. It's not in my character to be a nuisance. However, I did promise Mr. Morgan. Perhaps I'll return later on. Wait. If it's not going to take too long, I could... Fetch him now, and we could resolve the matter. Mrs. McKee, if you would do that for me, it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease, I'm sure. Oh, you gotta get that key! Okay, well, I think it's best you come with me. I fear I'd only slow you down. The stairs, you see. No, 
I'll wait here for you. Too. Fine, just wait here. Baggots. I think we just gotta bump that. We need to reach him a gig. Reach him a jig. Now, to get that key down. I wonder if we actually have like a time constraint. Ooh, a note. This is McKee. I've done the best I can to remove the red wine stain from the rug. I don't think there's much more I can uh, be doing for you. It was a nasty stain to be sure, but it's very paint. Oh, very faint now. The rug looks pretty new. Maybe you can return it and get another. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help, Sue. A rug has been steam cleaned. The same one they carried out last night. The dates don't match up. There's a child's heart in here! Annabelle was holding this last night. It doesn't look as though they used it. Unsalted butter? Disgusting! <laughs> the police are still here. I hope Catherine doesn't see me like this. Hmm. She never did make me that cup of tea. The bitch. New age woman, how to maintain your home and marriage. Get older volume. Okay. Some people don't put butter in fridges. Uh, Downs family recipes to my darling daughters, Annabelle and Shirley. Oh, and what's up? Butter in fridges is weird. You don't put butter at your butter in your fridge. Thank you for the 53 months. How's uh, Doc is Dungeon going? I made it to the the first bo the boss of the first act last night. It was a rough one. Yeah. It's yeah. Almost there. Now we do it. Come on. Well, that was easier than I thought. I did. I streamed last night. If you eat your daily tablespoon of butter, it doesn't have time to go bad. What? You just eat butter? Oh, it's locked. <laughs> 